So hey, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a fun looking puzzle. Um, this one is called Holiday of the Trees by Asi Pasasi. Uh, it's my understanding that, oh, it says right here, it's a, uh, the Holiday of the Trees is a Jewish holiday. So if you're Jewish, cool. I really uh, don't know much about the religion, but hey, uh, I always enjoy learning. So if you know anything about the Holiday of the Trees or the special um, quips or memories from these things, let me know in the comments. It's always interesting to see uh, people's different perspectives. So anywho, let's look at this puzzle, see what the rules are, and let's get going. Uh, so as it says, it's, it's a Sudoku made for two be Shavat, hopefully I said that correctly, Jewish holiday that celebrates trees, fruits, and ecological awareness. We've got German whispers, so digits joined by a green line have a difference of at least five. All of the lines are German whispers, so the, the, the trunk here of our tree, whatever this digit is, this one is five away from it, five away from that one, and so on and so forth as we get up into the limbs of our trees. And this might have been a branch that fell off. Uh, then we got Kropkies, so white dots separate consecutive digits, black dots separate digits with a 1 to 2 ratio, not all dots are given. The grid has seven dots to represent the seven species. I would guess this is part of the, the celebration there. Uh, so, interesting. So, again, white dots, these two guys are consecutive, black dots, these are in a 1 to 2 ratio. And maybe these are like seeds or something. Then we have killer cages. So digits in a cage sum to the clue in the top left corner of the cage. We've got three of them. So these add to 15, this to five, this to 15. Uh, to Bishvat is commemorate on the 15th day of the fifth month of the Hebrew calendar. Okay, that makes sense then that we had fives and 15s there. Cool. So there we go. A little bit of background on this celebration, which is nice. Uh, link is going to be in the description below. Let's just take a look at this one. Hopefully it's a nice, fun puzzle that we can just get into. So, where do we want to start? Um, let's get all the rules here, like that. Fives? Yeah, fives. We can do fives because we've got German whispers, so there's going to be some reductions on fives. We can't quite do it on this one. Uh, but what else can we... Okay, we can put a 5 here. Do we have anything else? Here must be a 5. And this one must be a 5. Therefore, one of these two would be. Obviously, because of all this stuff going on. I haven't been clicking on everything. I think you guys get most of this. Okay, this is going to finish the 5s. Can't put a 5 on a 5 clue. We can't put a 5 on a 15 clue. 5. Oop, get out of there. Five, five, five. So we got all our fives. Cool. Good start. Not too much there to get all ruffled up about. So I never want to say easy. I hate saying easy on puzzles. I just don't think it's a good way to describe things. Anywho, what's our next spot to look? Probably the trunk of this tree would be my guess because where do fours and sixes go in this column that'd be a good thing to think about can't because obviously we know fours and sixes only go with ones and nines so a four can only go with a nine a six can only go with a one so we can't put a four or a six in any place where there are multiple uh digits that must be uh, five away from those two. Mouth is not working right now. Don't worry about that. No four sixes in any of these. So therefore, these are fours and sixes. If this is a four or six, this has to be a one or a nine. Now, we can't necessarily do too much with that at the moment. It doesn't quite seem... I'm going to look back. We have given digits, which I hardly ever even notice when they're there, because I just don't think about given digits. Uh, so the one, now the one could go in any of these three. What else can we do here? Now, I'm tempted to just color 
our groupings, knowing that we don't know which one is high or low, we just know that they are the different variations will be these. We'll do purple and yellow. I, I, I kind of like that, actually. It gives our tree some flowers and leaves. So, what do we know about any of this stuff? It's a good question. We have all of our yellows, whatever they may be, plus our fives. So these are all purples. If this is a purple, it must be consecutive of the purple because it can't be consecutive of five. Now we have all of our purple, so these are all yellow. Okay, there we go. That's how we determine. These must be purple because we have all four yellows. Now we know that purple is the low digit. So now we can go back in and put all that in. And I'm just going to blanket it. Well, let me just do this one because we know this is a four or a six. So that does that. Now let's go back and do our blanket insertions of we know this one's going to be purple so we'll just color it then put in our one two threes and fours and we're going to know none of these are ones what else can we say none of these are fours this is a six so we can put our yeah our yellow is our our high digit kind of a I'm not going to switch the colors. I think this looks nice, so I'm going to keep it this way. Normally, I would do like blue and orange or something for high and low, but eh. Not going to change it. This can't be four. Where else can we start reducing? These can't be four, so this is a one, two, three, which means this is four, and this is three. This is either two or eight. We don't know which one yet. None of these are three. Uh, I guess we know one of these is a two, so this isn't, because this is either a one, two, or a two, three. This can't be a three, because it would have to be flanked by eight and nine. We've already used it, so this isn't. We can't necessarily say between these two which one is the three or not. What else do we know? This 2 4 pair here says this is 3, so we can get some of this stuff. These are from 8s and 9s. I will color in these last bits, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to go any further than that. I think this looks nice enough. Okay, this is a 1 then by Sudoku. These are both high. 9, 8, 7. We could have a six in here. This one can't be six or seven. Oh, this can't be six either because this has to be at least eight or nine. So this can't be six. So we know one of these is an eight, which means this is two. Okay. Now, let's think further. What about these guys in their highness? They're from six, sevens, eights, and nines. This is not six. This can't be 6, which means this is, and it has to be next to a 1, which means this is 2 and 3. That removes our 7, so we get an 8, 9. These must be from 6 and 7. These 3 must be from... Uh, what am I looking at here? I'm looking at both rows and columns. It's messing my head. 4, 8, and 9. This can't be a 4. And it can't be a 9. So this is 8. This is not 8 or 9, so it just is 7. That means this has to be a 1. This has to be the 3. This is not a 3. Uh, these are not 8s. Okay. We get a 4, 9 pair here. We're all good there. What about these two? We know what these are because we have eight, nine pair, then one, two, four, and six. So these are six and seven, which tells us this is not a seven, not a seven. 
Thank you. This one is from six, seven, eight, or nine. Let's see if we have anything else that we can just plug in and see what happens. This is from eight or nine, and it can't be nine. So this is eight. This is no longer four. This then eight causes a nine, which means this is isn't. That doesn't quite do anything there. And I don't think we can really make any determinations just yet on those. So we still have our killer cages we have not used. So is there anything we can pull out of these? Um, well, we, I was going to put these and I never did. Sevens, eights, and nines. This is not eight. Okay. We do know that... Yeah, we probably can continue with our coloring because we've got three lows. We know these must be two high digits. And these are the other two. So this is another low digit. So it's two, three, or four. This is not a one, by the way, which means there's a one on here, which means it's a one, four. So let's get rid of that. That's not four. This is not one or four. Okay. Now we know there's a six on here, so it has to be a nine, six. That forces this to be seven, which means this is two, three, not three. Okay. Uh, this is not seven or nine, so it's eight. Good. This all seems to be working fine. Just making sure that two says this is a one. Okay. Now, I haven't even looked at these guys yet either. The 15s, we know they're either 9, 6, or 8, 7. This is not 9, so this is not 6. Does that do anything for us in terms of this column? We get a 6, 7, 8 triple, but we have a 1, 2, 4 as well, so we can't really say much there. We're going to have to start looking at this guy, I think, to help us break up what's out here, unless we can just use the row. We need a, uh, let's see. This can't be a three six because of this. So we need a six somewhere and it can't be here. So this is six, seven, six. We need a seven in here. It can't go in a black crop key. So it goes there. This now must be a two, four pair. So we get some two, four pairs, which means this is actually a one, four, two, and so on. Two, four. This has to be our nine and our eight. And this becomes eight and nine. That all works perfectly. Good. Let's continue to look down. This can't be eight, so this can't be seven. If this is a two, this must be a one or a three, and it can't be a one. So we'll put the three in, and that's on a black crop key, so it's a six. Uh, that forces this to be a seven, nine pair. This is a six, eight pair, and it can't be six. So eight, six, nine, seven, seven, six. And what's more? What else we got? Uh, this two makes that a one. This can't be six or seven, so it is eight. This must be seven. Okay. Let's think about what's going on up here somehow. Let's we'll see if we can do it without doing a base Sudoku lookup. We need to have a two, so one of these is. We need to have a three, so one of these is. We need a four, it could go in any of those places. And we need a nine. So one of these is, okay, this is a two nine pair, which forces this to be three forces this to be four, nine, four. That nine breaks up the two nine. This is going to be a given now of two. These are 
1 and 6, so this is 1 and 6 by Sudoku, and we should be now set here. What do we got here? 7 and 8, so we can put the 8 and the 7. These three digits, we need a 1, which goes here. We need a 3 and a 4. We don't have those just yet, so let's go down here and see what's going on. Oh no, we can just use the 6 here to get the 9 and 6 first. Then we can go to these two, which must be 8 and 9. So by Sudoku, we do that. Now we can say these two are 2 and 4. So this is 4, 2. That's going to give us stuff up here, but let's just finish this. These are 3 and 7. So this is 3, 7. We get a D, D, 2. This is 4 and 3. And check. What? Oh, son of a biscuit. Did I just do a quick typo down there? Let's just go back and do it. I did. I just, for some reason, they got mixed up. This was 6 and 1. Sorry about that. Okay, let's go back and just finalize it. Again, just a stupid little typo. Uh, 7 and 8, so this was 8 and 7. We'll continue to go through. We needed a 1 up here. It went here. These were the 3, 4 pair. <clears throat> and we we'd said this was the 9 and the 6. So these were the 8 and the 9, like this. And we needed a 2, so it goes here. We needed a 3 and a 4, so this is 3, 4, 3, and we'll just put these in. This is 4 and 7. There we go. So, again, a little typo again for some reason on this one, 6. I don't know if it's my mouse clicking off to something else. It does that sometimes. Uh, but beautiful puzzle. I really enjoyed that. That was fun. Uh, wasn't too difficult. I got a little education on uh, the holiday of trees, which I've honestly never even heard of before. So I always enjoy that. Anyway, like I said earlier, if you know anything more, if you have any interesting stories of anything that's happened during your Hall of a Trees celebration, let me know. I'd be curious to hear it. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed that one. It was a nice, quick, easy one. Let's uh, keep getting some of those here and there. Uh, just keep things nice and uh, light and jovial sometimes. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.